my mayhem here. I'm still around. Been a busy week. Uh, latest load, another 12 yards, and it is going to go on this side to do the fill. And uh, I've got this built. Uh, this is to protect the corner. And I'm going to probably, uh, once we get this filled inside, I'm probably going to duplicate this right here. And uh, you look over inside, you'll see that there is a uh, barrel. It's all going to be filled in with dirt. And then we're going to top it off. It's going to go as high as uh, uh, the uh, box, as the shelter. And, of course, it'll be framed around uh, the window. We'll put another layer of... Uh, quarter inch acrylic uh, over the front and I'm gonna go all the way up I'm gonna put a little top across this right here with some angle iron and some uh, uh, some boards not really for rain or anything like that just to help with uh, debris or anything like that if there's a problem this took a while to get built it is solid and in place and like I said the reason I'm working with these small timbers is I got 400 of them so work with what you got and they were free uh, and I had to get them off my property uh, these are old treated uh, these are old CCA treated uh, and they should last forever and I may trim the ones up on the front uh, a little bit just to make it look a little nicer all this is gonna get buried it's all gonna be completely buried uh, when we're through uh, it's gonna be another gosh almighty Uh, 12 yards, 12 yards, 12 yards, 12, 24, 36. Uh, gonna be another 100 yards of dirt, uh, including topsoil. Because once I finish up with the fill, we're gonna do topsoil, and then we're gonna plant a garden on top of it, just to, uh, well, hell, just because we can. Anyway, guys, more to come. Okay, guys, now we're back. You can see this side uh, has packed down. Uh, we let it settle. Uh, this is fill dirt and then a layer of topsoil over it, about a foot of topsoil. And then we're also going to go across it and sculpt it out so where it will be uh, along the level of the uh, uh, retaining wall. And I'm going to go up a little bit higher with that retaining wall down at the bottom end. And we'll have this with uh, topsoil. So it'll be really good. He's got some really nice topsoil. Uh, that came from a pasture and it has sat for years full of uh, cow manure so that's really good I'm going to get this thing filled in finished up hopefully by the end of the month we'll have this thing finished up um, dirt uh, people ask me how much does dirt cost uh, 12 yards of fill dirt that's good fill is I want to say 150 bucks and he's giving me the topsoil for the same price. So that's really good of him. More to come, guys. So that's going to about wrap it up uh, this video because I'm mainly uh, doing some work on this guy, trying to get everything finished up before I have to go out of town. And uh, we're on schedule. That's all I can say. A lot of work, but we're on schedule with it. You can see the timber uh, where I've got it tied in uh, to keep that wall from falling forward. I put about 10 or 12 of those guys uh, down through this at different layers and levels. So should not have a problem. Uh, we've got uh, drainage, uh, the uh, corrugated pipe. I've got like three on this side, I think, and three on the other side at different levels as well. So. It's overkill, but I don't want to have to do this again because it's killing me. Uh, but we will be back uh, on track as far as doing the playing and the other mud mowers and everything. Uh, there they are sitting over there. So, hadn't forgotten about them. Uh, just trying to get the real life stuff done. Just the way it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, thanks for all the shares as well. Um, I really appreciate that. Take a look at Southern Off-Road Mowers on Facebook and uh, SCH design stickers t-shirts custom work hoodies decals magnetics good stuff y'all gonna make some mayhem